with the green brain. So that means all of our stuff. challenges. We are here to support those people who are facing huge challenges and less fortunate than us. Of course, we are all sailing the same boat, little up and down during different phases of life. But then, if we stand all of us together, we can do it. We can see that there is no, the bend of the road is not the end of the road. So, I welcome Nandukumarji, Nandukumarji. We shower the choicest blessings on us so that we may develop a sense of sacrifice in our lives. May there be peace, peace and real peace. <laughs> with the um, deletion of chromosome 22, otherwise referred to as jo D. Jones syndrome. It is a rare disability affecting fewer than one in 4,000 people. It is an incurable dis disability, which you could say is a lifelong illness due to all the complications. due to all the complications the syndrome brings. Uh, when the consultant explained this to us at birth, our life changed forever. We had never heard of this condition, as I'm sure many people haven't, Yahida. Um, but, sh but we slowly began to understand how a disability affects her life and ours as well. We have little choice but to revolve our lives around her as we cannot plan anything without first taking into account her needs and whether they, they can be accommodated. She can never be left unsupervised, so someone must be with her throughout her life, all the time. Although the face seems, the face value seems she is a grown woman, and technically she is. Anisha suffers with learning disabilities, 
which means she is non-verbal, will always be a baby, not only to us as parents, but regarding her mental development as well. We wake up at night when she is not well, and this is most nights. As a disability means she has underactive thyroid, autoimmune deficiency, which results in reoccurring infections, UTI, and she also has one kidney. This disability brings other health issues, which have ongoing knock-on effects, bringing challenges. Sorry. She suffers extensively water retention, which then makes it difficult for her to walk with ease, putting pressure on her joints and requiring specially shoes and clothing. Also, she's non-verbal, so, so we have to guess what the, what the issues may be and rely on minimum sign language as behavior cues to her may be wrong. Suffers, she suffers from incontinence as her bodily functions as an adult. She must be managed throughout the monthly cycles, almost like a double incontinence. She cannot manage herself at all. When she suffers from infections, which are regular almost monthly, she can go up to 48 hours without sleep, which means we don't sleep either. We have to get her antibiotics, which, ha which her doctors have prescribed. <clears throat> but these days, even getting a GP's appointment is incredibly hard, as you all must realize. Life is extremely challenging, living, caring for a disabled person around the clock. There is no time to have a life of your own. Sometimes it gets too much, but then given, given time to reflect on it, I would not have it any other way. Anisha is so full of life and warmth, and because she is mentally still a child, she will always view the world with innocent and loving eyes. She depends entirely on us for help, understanding, patience, and support. And for her, it is worth every moment. She makes our life worth living. We all love our daughter Anisha more than she could ever know. I hope this has given you all an insight of how parents who have to deal with disability on a day-to-day basis. I would like to thank Rashmi Mishra and IIW team for giving me this platform to share my daughter's story. Good evening and namaste. Founder Director of British Education Support Services, which provides all services for SEN, SEN, under one banner. Shripiya has been working in the field for over 25 years and is extremely passionate about the work she does. She is currently working on carrying out a research of undiagnosed SEN and its link with social, emotional, mental health issues. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Shri Priya Bhavmek. And I would like you to introduce my daughter, who is severely dyslexic, to you, to talk about what she thinks about her difficulties. I think that will give us a perspective of what's their world like. Um, Saher, do you want to come here, please? Thank you. This is Saher. And uh, so I've been in the field of special needs for 26 years now. That's a long time. And this is all I've done. So, and I've never done anything else other than while doing my master's, did some odd jobs in factories, and I knew that's not what I want to do. And uh, this is what, who I am. After working as a teacher, as a Senko for many years, uh, I realized that I was being a bit restricted within those four walls of a specific yeah. school. So I wanted to spread my wing and start my little organization called British Education Support Services, which is trying to bring all the services under one banner so that parents, schools, they don't have to run from pillar to post for OT here and this there. So we are trying to be the one uh, place. Uh, one thing that as a parent, as a teacher, as a professional, I would like to say that Yes, please look into their abilities. One thing when I started working in this field in 1995 or 96, I was still in school, I was told by one of the very senior teachers, look at the child and see what he or she can do. That's your starting point. Forget about what they can't do. That's, that might be endless. But there will be one thing they can do. Focus on that, build it up, you will be there. And yes, that's what I do. Like just focus on what they can do and build it up. Uh, so if you're a parent, if you're a teacher, or if you 
acha someone who wants to know about special needs always look at that child or that young adult or an adult and see what they can do talk to them about what they can do and you know what the smile on their face makes it amazing now i would like to have to talk about uh, the mic is a bit too high do you want okay <laughs> so because this is a platform which is kind of mainly for everybody i'm just taking this opportunity to give it a bit so sir could you tell me when you are reading or writing you always say that it's difficult and you don't want to do it for some reason could you tell everybody what makes it difficult for you to read why do you think it's difficult because the words wiggle the words wiggle and thank you so much sir and i'll tell you one thing often i've seen in my career many times when i assess i'm qualified as a sub dyslexia as a student for a levels or they are in the university and all of a sudden they say this my words wiggle and i said have you ever told somebody no why because when they were in reception or year one somebody passed a fleeting comment stop being silly what we just said as a one of comment made a deep impact and that girl stopped talking about the words wriggling or the words moving or whatever the difficulties are and that started building up on that thought process that oh i'm stupid that's why this is happening to me and so i can't talk about it and that's where they shut they shut down and the amount of effort they put in to mask their difficulty sometimes recently i met somebody who's predicted a stars for a level severe difficult dyslexia and i said how did you manage and she said i work till 2 o'clock in the morning and then i wake up at again at 6 o'clock in the morning to be on top of my game so don't pass on that fleeting comment if you see somebody raise awareness that the small comments oh, pay attention stop being silly try to talk to the child to find out about what is it and talk to them talk about what they like doing what their difficulties are if you're a teacher look for those signs of frustration if they're not paying attention don't just detention is not the word you're actually rewarding them by giving detention because they don't want to be in lesson anyway so if you're giving them detention or sending them out of the class yes that's it we have done it so work around the difficulties that's one of the reason why i asked her to come and talk about the words wriggling because i want her to be confident of who she is she is good in what are you good at go on tell everybody i'm good at gymnastics and judo and drama <laughs> yes she is significantly behind her academics according to the teacher she teacher was quite specific about or oh, she might not clear the key stage 1 phonics test and the only question i asked Will when she is thirty, will anybody ask her what was your score for your key stage one phonics test? If the answer is no, should I worry? Be worried about it? No. Focus on how many gymnast of the week award she has got, or how many the child has learnt or taught herself how to ice skate without a support in fifteen minutes. Uh, moved up by two tabs in judo in four weeks. Nobody talks about it. School doesn't want to know about it. Know them. Talk to them about it. Find out their strengths, and you know what? They will be there. Trust them. And also, as a parent, all the parents, I'll tell you one thing. Remember, you are their voice. If you don't fight for your child, nobody else would. For rest of the world, they're just statistics. I'm dragging few local authorities to the court because their needs are not met. Fight for your child, and if you. If you ever want to be in touch with me for anything, I'm just a phone call away, and we'll be there for you. जगाना पड़ता है 
पूछा चिड़िया से कि घोसला कैसे बनता है पूछा चिड़िया से कि घोसला कैसे बनता है वो बोली कि तिनका तिनका उठाना पड़ता है सो यू कैन सी दीज चिल्ड्रेन दिस इज जस्ट लाइक फाइव परसेंट ऑफ गीतांजलि अकेडमी अवर नंबर इफ वी सी एंड गीतांजलि अकेडमी हैज ग्रोन ग्रेजुअली जस्ट लाइक दैट एंड आई वुड लाइक टू इंट्रोड्यूस मिसिस जयता घोष एंड मिस्टर शंगुमित्र घोष हु आर द फाउंडर ऑफ दिस अकेडमी प्लीज गिव अ बिग राउंड ऑफ अपलॉज फॉर दिस introduction of uh, dia jayta she is a well known hindustani classical music teacher and a talented performer she has conducted several recitals with her students and she is also the solo, solo solo performances on nehru center in india uh, in london the high commission of india in uk women in music festival sama arts and many more It is very interesting to know that Jaita has worked with one of the leading pediatrician in uh, West Virginia and used music as an alternative therapy to treat children with special needs and autism. Jaita aims to use her expertise in teaching out to children and adults as well as people with special needs in UK in order to enrich their experience in music. Now if I talk about a um, bit of more about these children been doing and also would like to introduce you all our respected sri sunil jadav ji who is a leading musician who is a pianist and keyboard player he is also a piano and keyboard harmonium teacher in gitanjali academy on tabla we have our dear hari goswami give her a big round of applause for him children um uh, have come to support our superheroes so you will be hearing some solo performances and the rest of the children have come uh, for uh, to support them so for our superheroes again i would like to share few lines with you na poocho ki meri manzil kahan hai na poocho ki meri manzil kahan hai abhi to safar ka irada kiya hai abhi to safar ka irada kiya hai ना हारूंगा हौसला उम्र भर ना हारूंगा हौसला उम्र भर ये मैंने किसी से नहीं खुद से वादा किया है सो लेट्स वेलकम ऑल ऑफ देम फॉर द ब्यूटीफुल परफॉर्मेंसेस वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद सरस्वती वंदना सो हे शारदे मां एंड याकुन लिंकू सो लेट्स हियर देम आउट
isn't it wonderful? Again, a big round of applause for all of them. Now, among all of us, there is a very, very special um, child here who is Tanish Menon, and he would like to perform something for you. Give a big round of applause for Tanish Menon. You are restricting the bird 
with beautiful feathers to further fly and flutter high. With the world now heading towards tapping, the unique talent of neurodiverse individuals, it is of prime importance that platforms like these not only bring awareness, but also highlight the positive news around it and direct families to seek the required and timely support. And what kind of support we are looking at? Policies, legal frameworks, and infrastructural support. Establishment of advanced medical centers for early identification and interventions. Educational framework and provision of specialist schools, whether in the UK or in India. Accessibility and training of people in supportive therapeutic areas, such as speech and language, music and art therapy, etc. Music specifically has been proved scientifically to have improved moods, sensory modulation, emotional control, expression of feelings, auditory integration, and activation of vagal nerve in the body. As a parent of a sent child with fairly decent understanding of medical terminology and being in the UK for more than 15 years, it has been a roller coaster journey <clears throat> in terms of figuring out ourselves what, where, <clears throat> where, and what kind of support is available. With such a large Indian diaspora here in the country, I may urge the higher authorities, members of the High Commission, and other charitable entities to join hands to tap the network of highly qualified Indian doctors, therapists, and educationists in the country and create a support network for all fellow Indians who are in need and are even unaware of existence of support and hence are suffering. I would like to end without taking much time with a small beautiful line. A child is like a butterfly in the world. Some can fly higher than others, but each one flies the best it can. Why compare one against the other? Each one is different, each one is special, each one is beautiful.
We are ready and our performing is performer is ready too. Narun Pardesi, who is going to entertain you with one of the very popular Bollywood songs. Well, uh, for those of you that know and those who are about to find out, I have autism and it's affected me for literally 17 years. So I found it out in 2006 and uh, at first I was like, oh, what is that? But then, but then later on, it's actually turned out to be maybe quite unique because there are so many things that people like about me and sometimes I just forget them. But then recently I made uh, like a big sheet of everything that's good about me because sometimes uh, it's hard to recognize it's hard to recognize social skills, and um, so that's why I have the help from like my therapist, my loving parents, my sister is like behind me over there. So it's just, so it's just if you want to like overcome it, and then you just need to be confident in yourself and learn to love yourself a lot because uh, because loving yourself and respecting yourself is one of the most you know enthralling things, and it rewards you in so many ways. So just be happy. <laughs> Picture yourself entering the platform at Baker Street, and I want you to, I want you to like throughout the course of the song, think of it as a journey, and then uh, and then as we and then when, as the song ends, is imagine yourself walking out of reach of the park station. So there you go.
happy. Words can be making you happy. There we go. So this rag is making Shiv really happy to sing. Though he was a little bit nervous, but he's very happy to sing. Thank you. They have been uh, volunteering and they have been helping in the academy uh, with some younger children or with special needs children. So they have experience in um, um, gradually what their thoughts are about it. So Mishika is here with us and she would like to share something. And I would like to share my a part of my experience with children in music with special needs. So around just under a year ago, I was introduced to a sweet little seven-year-old boy named Rohan, who's another musical student under our Githanjali Academy. And even though we met over Zoom, because he lives all the way in America, Rohan was completely fine with meeting with me. He was very energetic and enthusiastic. I wanted to help and support Rohan all throughout his musical and learning progress by practicing music with him each week. So at first, I could tell that even though he really wanted to practice, his short-term attention span only let him focus for around 10 to 15 minutes maximum per session. However, his determination was much stronger than I ever expected. Within the mere 11 months that I've known him, Rohan has managed to not only improve his voice quality, but to even play along with the keyboard, and more recently, even being able to keep up and distinguish between finger isolation and using multiple finger and hand movements with his playing, something which he personally really struggled with. Along with this, he is, along with this, he is now in, enabled to accompany himself with his own singing. He's expanded his memorization skills, and only this Friday, Rohan managed to sit enthusiastically through a 55 minute online session with me. And all throughout, Rohan's determination, persistence, and attitude towards his learning has been incredible, incredibly consistent for his age, a trait which I have learned from him. By sitting and playing and singing with him week after week has not only supported Rohan, but I have also learned so much from him as well. What I admire the most about him is how happy he is. When he's singing, playing notes, and even listening to music, the genuine happiness on Brohan's face is so, it's, it's something that will stick with me forever, personally. And I'm so proud of the immense progress that he has made throughout the time that I've known him. So much that I believe that when you help others, you help yourself as a person even more. So I would like to thank Jaitan D, our guru, for presenting me with this wonderful experience and opportunity. Namaste. Thank you so much. They introduced me. Um, so I'm a year 13 student who um, wants to go into medicine next year. So I'm, I'm currently doing my A-levels and next year, hopefully, I'll go to uni um, doing medicine. So obviously, I've, I've been studying with Jaitan D for the past six years now almost. Um, I've been a persistent student here. Um, and I've completed my grade seven, and next year I'm looking forward to completing my grade eight. So, as so as part of my school, I created a magazine um, called the Steminist, which was um, involving females in STEM. So I thought I'm I'm a really passionate person for music. I have this talent for music, and of course, of course, I'm an aspiring medic. So there would be no other top uh, other um, perfect choice for me to write an article on something to do with. Um, how music can affect um, the brain, and not only any music, um, but Indian classical music specifically. So along with a couple of other articles that I wrote, I wrote an article specifically on whether Indian classical music has an effect on um, autistic children. So as part of that, I looked at a lot of studies, and I looked at um, a range of rags that have an effect on people, on autistic people. And I think it's beautiful how music can affect the brain. So I studied um, a particular case study um, in um, on how um, a study conducted with 20 children, autistic children, um, using the rag bali. So in that study, they were this, uh, they were given um, several mini uh, music therapies, and they were asked for their moods before and after hearing the mu music, and they were also um, measured using a scale. Um, and it was found that these autistic children shows, showed more um, attentiveness and more focus and also it helped improve their memory. So specifically, Rahul Bali is really beneficial for this. Um, 
So my research is not only, it didn't stop at the magazine, I'm really interested in this topic. So I decided as part of my school, I have to complete something known as the Extended Project Qualification. Um, so I com decided to completely base that on um, the effect of Indian classical music on the human body. So as part of that, I've looked at autistic children and other special needs and how certain areas of the brain can be stimulated um, to obviously make um, autistic people or special needs people feel much better about themselves. Um, i just like to say that today has been organised, um, it is a beautiful, beautiful cause and I think as a society everyone has um, the responsibility to um, do something towards contribute to something as special as this. So thank you all for coming today and thank you to, for, to the organisers and Jay Thandi for giving me the opportunity to speak here today. Namaste. <laughs> would like to share her thoughts as well as she's been um, helping Tanish, Tanish Menon in his music journey as well. So let's hear our Adya. Tanish or Tanu who uh, really nicely performed Rag Bilawa today. So I'm really proud of you Tanu. So could you please have another round of applause? <laughs> So over the past year, me and Suhani have supported Danish Tanu with Indian classical music. And I have a whole speech written here, but I just really wanted to say that me and Suhani really aspire Tanu to always keep music with him and achieve more in the field because not only does it have a profound effect on Tanu, but it has a profound effect on everyone. And when me and Suhani helped Tanu, we also like developed a lot of our own musical skills, our communication skills, we gain confidence and it helps us to think creatively and we really, really value this and uh, we're really, really thankful to Jayatha Auntie for giving us this experience and we can't wait to continue supporting Tanu. And um, what I'd really like to say is that um, I believe that music has the power to change anyone's life in any way and and I'd really like to encourage everyone sitting here today to keep music with you and continue like having music with you because it's just such a powerful tool and not everyone understands it in one way or another. So uh, thank you, thank you for listening to me and we hope that you enjoy the rest of the performances.
Yoshiko. Yoshiko. Tanmi. Tanmi again. Minal and Arun. First of all, the first time I was so happy to be here, for the kids, I would like to give them a very special gift. Because when I remember my age, I was the only one who was here. So I was probably going to ask them, I was going to ask Rashmi Ji, which movie is going to be going to be. I was going to get out of my mind, because I remember Kishore Kumar's song, and it was very popular. So, this beautiful prastuti has given me my childhood. I hope everyone understands Hindi. Do I talk to you in English? Hindi is okay? Yeah. Okay, good, good, good. If we speak in the language, I think it's not good. This place is like that whenever we come here, whenever we come here, it feels like we are in the same way that our Bharati culture is and we go to it and it feels like it is an oasis in a desert that we feel totally immersed in our own culture. So I think this is my third or fourth visit uh, but first one after the pandemic. So I'm, I'm very happy. I'm very happy that I have come here today. And for that, I am the first uh, <coughs> India inspiring woman who is the director of Sushri Darshmi Mishra Ji. I will give them a great thank you. And I have seen what I have seen until now इंडिया इंस्पायरिंग वुमन एक बहुत ही डायनामिक ऑर्गेनाइजेशन है और काफी कार्यक्रम इनके होते हैं। शायद ही कोई ऐसा राष्ट्रीय त्योहार होता होगा जिसमें इनका प्रोग्राम ना होता हो। और ये बहुत खुशी की बात है कि ये एक चैरिटी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन की हेल्प करना चाहते हैं इंडिया में जो कि स्थित है और और खास करके इस इस प्रोग्राम में सभी जो बच्चे हैं वो वो हिस्सा ले रहे हैं तो मुझे पूरी उम्मीद है कि जो बच्चे खास करके लॉकडाउन के टाइम में जिन्होंने अपने आप टैलेंट को होन किया है उनको एक बहुत अच्छा मौका मिल रहा है बड़ा अच्छा प्लेटफॉर्म मिल रहा है और मैं इनको बधाई दूंगा कि इन्होंने बहुत अच्छी एक शुरुआत की है और आज के कार्यक्रम में मुझे बुलाने के लिए मैं इनका बहुत धन्यवाद देता हूँ और आप सबको मैं बताना चाहूँगा कि भारत की 150वीं वर्षगांठ का ये ये पूरा वर्ष चल रहा है तो इसमें भारतीय जो गवर्नमेंट है और हाई कमिशन ऑफ इंडिया इनके द्वारा काफी पैटर्न आयोजित किए जा रहे हैं तो आप कृपया करके हमारे ट्विटर हैंडल को हमारी वेबसाइट को जरा ट्रैक करते रहें अभी हाल ही में हमने एक क्विज की प्रतियोगिता का आयोजन किया था उसमें यहाँ के काफी बच्चों ने हिस्सा लिया लेकिन मुझे लगता है कि और अधिक बच्चे उसमें पार्टिसिपेट करें मतलब एक प्रतियोगिता अभी निकली है बाकी हम और इस तरह के कई कार्यक्रम करते रहेंगे कल के दिन हम इसी जो एक जो हमारी सेवेंटी फिफ्थ ईयर की जो वर्षगांठ का जो जो साल चल रहा है उसके अंतर्गत हम बाबा साहब अंबेडकर जी का महापल महा जो उनकी ये जो उनकी डेथ एनिवर्सरी है उसको भी सेलिब्रेट कर रहे हैं तो अंबेडकर म्यूजियम में कल सवेरे 11 बजे का प्रोग्राम है आप में से जो भी आना चाहे यू आर मोस्ट वेलकम एंड अटेंड द इवेंट तो इसके साथ मैं उन आयोजकों का मैं धन्यवाद देता हूँ कि उन्होंने मुझे अपॉर्चुनिटी दी आप सबके साथ जो दो दो होने के लिए थैंक यू फ्रेंड्स I would like to thank the inspiring Indian women for kindly inviting me to this very special function which they are holding, especially for the differently abled people to help them. And I would like to conclude with just one shloka from our ancient literature which speaks about health. It is important, especially now during COVID period, Sarve Bhavantu Sukhina. Our sages, what the prayer was, may all be happy. Sarve santu niramaya. In Sanskrit, amaya means illness. 
Niramaya means freedom from illness, means healthy. May all be healthy. Sarve bhadrani pashyantu. May all experience only that which is auspicious. Bhadra means that which is good, that which is auspicious. Ma kashchit dukha bhag bhave. Let no one suffer. This is the prayer of our sages. Thousands and thousands of years ago they have prayed. And let's say that prayer again today, especially during this period of COVID, which is really frightening the entire world. May this COVID go away from this world. Let's repeat, I will just say one Vedic prayer and then go on. Asatuma Sadgamaya, Tamasoma Jyotirgamaya, Mrityorma Bhutangamaya. All our leaders from unreal to from darkness to light and from death to immortality. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. May there be peace, peace and real peace. She has been empowering women in the UK, helping them to make informed choices for the past 25 years. She has relentlessly worked to address the problem of domestic abuse against women in Anfield. She has carried uh, she has chaired Women Economic Forum UK, All Ladies Lead UK, Lohana Mahaparishad UK, and many more. Please welcome Krishna Pujaraji. Saheli is an organization which is now coming to 30 years old now. And it was actually initiated by Asian women, young, I mean, long time ago, when there was a need, when migrants were moving in, and uh, depression and people were like dying to get connected, language barrier and so many barriers were there at the time. So this is when it was initiated and it started off. So we have started since 1992 and we had a lot of women who were going through a lot of uh, difficult situations in their life and we had to support them. Now at present, what has happened is over the last uh, few uh, two years during the pandemic, as we all know, there has been a lot of concern with the pandemic, digital exclusion, people are not able to get connected to the internet, there has been a domestic abuse cases, uh, mental well-being is an issue. And also, we have continued to support them during this difficult time. So I'll share a little bit about what we really do is make sure that we help women fleeing domestic abuse, make sure that we rehouse them immediately with our safe um, uh, accommodation services where their lives are being reconnected and built up. And that's why we, call, uh, we say that we empower them to make informed choices in terms of starting their own lives. But at the same time, there are women who touch our doors and we make sure that we support them. We are not there to split them from their partners. We want to make sure that we bring in our mediation services. So we, at present we have a lot of uh, psychotherapists working for us and we have this continuous counseling situation that uh, goes on. We give them 10 to 12 sessions uh, weekly to see how we, it can make a difference to their life in terms of developing their own life. Mental health is one of the things that has been issued over the time, I mean, we all know that there has been a, a lot of people who have gone through. You name anybody and would have had a bereavement during the pandemic. Now people are coming out of that situation because at that time, people were sort of not able to grieve openly. And this has created to a number of them a mental well-being issue. So we have started now supporting them through mental well-being uh, counseling sessions. Secondly, Apart from the services that we provide, we also have an extended arm, which we call it a social club for Saheli. And we meet regularly, right now we've been meeting the, on Zoom, five days a week, where people have uh, activities, making sure that they can reach out to all the women that, that were lonely and isolated. But also, at the same time, it uh, would make them feel more sort of uh, confident in terms of what they are doing. But there are women who want to meet physically, so we have got a social club open on Fridays. We also have art therapy, and we ensure that we support them. 
Now, over the years, you know, the women that have been part of our services are now growing a lot older. And we know through the research by the government that people are living a lot longer than we anticipated them to sort of live long time ago. So the social care needs have changed, and a lot of them have got Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, um, uh, physical disabilities, people are dying with terminal illnesses, and a number of other health uh, sort of uh, uh, issues which we make sure that we support. So, I mean, the journey for Saheli is for a woman, if you ask her who joined us 30 years ago, uh, what she is going through at this stage has changed over the years. But not every woman is part of Saheli for 30 years because there are women who want to move on and start a different life. So we don't insist them to be part of Saheli. But we are really delighted especially for raising awareness for people with all abilities and the amazing work that has been done by inspiring Indian women, Rashmi Mishra and her team. Uh, and we are really pleased that we've been part of it to support it. So thank you very much and it's lovely to see you all. Every human being has a disability, physical, mental, from 1 to 100. No, not, may not be 100, 1 to 99. It's a question of how our parents look at us. It's a question of how much support and love they give us. And uh, whether they think that hope is the best treatment that they can give. If our parents told us when we were young, look, my dear chap, you can't see in one eye or you can't hear in one eye, none of us would have come this far in life. It's just that they have absorbed this as a part of life and said, look, please overcome this disability and go forward. I'm sure if all of us look back, there would be something or other we overcame it. We could overcome that. But for those who cannot overcome this kind of uh, situation of music, any instrument, singing, anything for that matter, would uh, take them far. I'm sure most of you have seen movies where people one-legged people can make them run. These are not uh, stories, you know, just to inspire us or songs to inspire us. These things really happen. And uh, like a French novel says, then all that we can do in life is to hope. Thank you very much.
Shivani is passionate about music from her childhood. She is, she trained, she's trained in Indian classical music and she's still learning. She loves to sing devotional and Bollywood and today Bollywood. Please welcome Shivani. I never fit in and I never had any friends. Seldom would I actually enjoy the company of others. This was fine by me. I would have my own little circle. They would have their bigger circle. As long as no one hurted each other, it was all right. But it is when they started coming after me, crossing my borders, even after I let them be, I decided to combat bullying. It was a one-sided conflict. My bullies were many in number and I was overwhelmed by their scorn. But this created me as I am today. I stand in front of you today because they bullied me. Their slights, insults, and punches melted me down. But then, the experience, it reforged me into an even harder thing. 
I stand here today, not of any other person's accord. I stand here on my own two feet, the same feet I used to stand up to my bullies, to tell you how severe this problem of bullying actually is in our country. Six out of 10 students all across the UK have been bullied at one point in their life. Out of the bullied people, seven out of 10 are too scared to stand up for themselves. But lucky for those who are too scared, I am one of the three out of 10. I am ready to speak of my experience. For all of the times, I was told to shut up. I was shunned. I will speak loud and clear now. I will stand here so that nobody has to suffer through the plight that I did. I stand here not to boast of how I survived. I stand here today for all the innocent boys and girls out there still getting bullied. And you know what? This is the sad thing. Most will never ever have the chance to tell their story like I am doing today. So here is their story. And here, here is the story of the bully victim. Track, track please. stands up aggressively, bullied for weeks and days, it summons up the courage to say, no, go away, the dreaded reply, the reject has made a mistake, he knows why, fist and knock he sees, his nose drips blood, the pariah sobs and yields, with the attack still flood, the bones ache with trauma from the bully's fist, unable outclassed, Nobody is doing anything, unable to resist. To throw a punch back would be salt in the wound. The, the pariah must take it, while everyone else fumes. In the class, it is told to shut up, so it stays quiet, but they still won't stop. Relentless onslaught, verbal bullets, the insults are scream. They destroy it, break it, and shatter its dreams. With the dank concrete corner, harbors a pariah hunched, alone in the drizzle, eating a packed lunch. It will stay like that for it, day by day. For the victim of bullying, in our world, there is no true escape. I request Tanya Vishwas to come up on stage. Tanya is going to uh, sing a prayer, a Bengali prayer. <laughs>
And she laughs with me, you know, she said, you've been here such a long time. I said, exactly, I've gone through a number of commissioners now. But it's wonderful to see people like this, you know, get together. So many dignitaries come here. And we had people from High Commission as well, Mr. Aaron was here. And I think um, to, to have the Bhavan, you know, back us and take it on. I think it's a very, very big privilege to have something like this happen.
till yesterday we hadn't so we hope for the best but uh, finally we just hope that we can make little difference through inspiring indian women i'd like to thank some of you who have been part and part of this program massive support especially one to haro care plus the they helped us uh, sponsored the food packets for the performers uh, haro care plus also got a cake for the children i hope they could have it uh, the children ate the cake and uh, second in my list to thank is subhi make cover and makeup artist there subhi is here subhi clap hands for her subhi has been uh, uh, doing the makeup for all the dancers completely voluntarily so if anybody wants any makeup uh, artist makeup uh, person do contact subhi make make cover and makeup artist thank you subhi thank you subhi uh very quickly i would like to thank janta ray here who is from sangeet sangeet foundation he could make it and has been here since the end till the end i'm very grateful to you okay thank you to harmony was who really helped a lot ananya uh, sarkar was behind this behind our uh, you know work what we were doing she's been sending contacts do this do that i'm very thankful to harmony was and ananya sarkar Next, I would like to thank Jal Tarang Paramita Goswami who connected us to Gitanjali Academy of Fine Arts, and what a marvelous performance it was! Thank you to Maddie. Maddie has been from Village Bengal. She's been doing very fantastic work behind the scenes. She's the one who has been to send me selling the raffle tickets online, and great ideas pouring from Maddie all the time. Then I'd like to also thank Women to Women Diamond Geeta Shah, who tried her best to get the tickets sold out there, and she has been a pillar of support to us. Geeta Shah, thank you so much. Cool Herbals Ravi Bhanoji, who has given us some little money to sponsor. Ashford Associates, the CA, they have given us some fun, some hundred pounds. Food Lord Enfield Saheli, all have given us little little money to in the pool of uh, the spons sponsors. Then Lutipuria Nasani, Chinu Kishor, she could not make it, but um, Chinu Kishor has been behind the inspiring Indian women dreams and vision. Essex Indians, Retina UK, Mission Sayog, Mission Sayog, Sanya, Dr. Sanya Sharma is here. Dr. Sanya Sharma also heads the IIW Bihar chapter. She's been doing wonderful work. Thank you, Mission Sayog, for your partnership. Then we have uh, found the, the Sense Art Co UK Sangeeta Vedali. She gave us that painting. We really love you, Sangeeta. Thank you for being part of it. Thank you to High Commission of India for being part of inspiring Indian women. I consider uh, them as the great support because of which we are here. The High Commission of India UK. Thank you, Manmeet sir, for being here. Thank you, Bharti Vidya Bhavan. Thank you for giving us this opportunity and this uh, day. So much of support from Parvati ji, Bihari ji, and Narayan sir, who is there at the gate. Thank you very much for being here. And I may have missed people, but I want to call our team members here. So first, Sarika, she's not here. Kaya, she's not here. Sheetal, not here. Tejal, Tejal has been the IT support. Tejal Shah, are you here? Continuously sitting there with the IT technician. all these background and backdrop tejal please come and wave come here tejal we have um, uh seema seema khandelwal is not here nilanjana sudha rawat sudha rawat can you be here please yeah sudha rawat is here then we have um, banu banu tisla she is my partner in crime she's always supported us and in all our physical events we love banu because of her friendliness and uh, her uh, you know very natural way the way she is with everybody and all the performers and the she's very natural and i just love her and then we have um, i want to thank preeta mukherjee from posto padma jain who made gave it to hampers the food hampers Councillor Pushpa Makwana was also behind the scenes. Shipra Gomes, Shipra Gomes is here. She's been anything you want to say, you just tell Shipra Gomes. The, the team, please come here. Then we have. Um, I want to say a big thank you to Angie Chhapia. She's part of Inspiring Indian Women. So she heads the Haro Care Plus. Uh, Shikha Dhar, the one who has been handling the raffle, and I'm so glad we were just 52 on online, but she made it 100 here. Today, Shikha Dhar, thank you so much. Sudha Rawat was also part of the uh, raffles being sold, and um, who else?
she's always there. Thank you so much. Uh, uh, and thank you so much, Prabhakar, sir, for being here continuously in support. Thank you, Kirti. Kirti, come